It seems to me that the people that you work with are really important to you, which is why you say I'm, I'm sure that there's some mm -hmm. people you won't work with because they're not going to understand, yeah. it's not going to be good yeah. for you or for them. I'm sorry, I totally get that. Um, but it seems to me that you're bringing, the more I see your, your life go on, your career develop, whichever mm -hmm. you want to see it, it seems to me that you're, you're formulating this almost this kind of network of people, or mm -hmm. network's not the right word, community of people around yeah, you. Yeah, like a gang. <laughs> Sorry? A gang. Yeah. I have my own gang, yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. Yeah. Who, who you seem to work with again and again and again, mm -hmm. rather than once and then, you know, move on. So. No, for sure. And, and also, like, for me, um, building those relationships with people that I, I love work. I mean, I haven't worked with Vava for years because mm -hmm. also she went in a different direction. But like <clears throat> building and to see where I can go to the extreme because I'm yeah. kind of an extreme person. Yeah. Um, where I can go to the extreme with a certain artist. Yeah. This is what I love, you know? Yeah. It's like the best thing in a relationship. Where well, how far you can go. Yeah, and they want to push you. Yes. And they want you and to push them. And I push them, them too, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, that, yeah. that's a completely mm -hmm. agree. That's the best sort of relationships. Who's really interesting to you at the moment? Which artists, which people? Well, I love what I did just now with Doja Cat. So this is uh, um, Coachella. Yeah. Doja. So the first time I worked with Doja was at Coachella, but it was two years prior. Right, we okay. did, She did a performance. And a stylist um, and art director, Brett Allen Nelson, mm -hmm. contacted, contacted me to make some uh, monster outfits, I will call them, yeah. um, in neon green that right. we did. And then this time, this year, it was like, I want to give you your moment. And it was, that was amazing. It was the first time ever that yeah. I felt my work being recognized by, also I was at the festival, I don't know, it's like 200,000 people maybe there yeah. or something. Yeah. And then on giant screen, and it's the first time I was like, woof, yeah, I yeah. cried, obviously. Really, yeah, yeah it, was, it, was, it was really nice, yeah. So just tell me a bit more about this, because it looks amazing. Mm -hmm. um, and again, it's one of those moments where it, it sort of becomes something other than just, you know, just a hairdresser. Mm -hmm. I mean, no, no disrespect yeah, to yeah, the yeah, word yeah. hairdresser, no, but you know, mm -hmm. again, taking the Warren Beatty shampoo example, it's not exactly mm -hmm. that. Um, so tell me a little bit about, just describe what that is, because some, some people might not have seen that. It's all about movement yeah. and colors also. So like when Brett asked me to do this, like the way it works is like we send each other drawings and obviously he was, he wanted to, me to recreate exactly the same um, air outfits and costumes that I've done 15 years ago. Yeah. Basically we just decided to go on different colors, but it was actually a huge challenge to work for this one because first we didn't have time, you know, working with celebrities like yeah. we have no time yeah. ever. It's yeah. from one day to the other. Yep. So maybe I think we had like two weeks to make, I think it was 30, 30 costumes, oh. 30 wow. plus dojas. And um, so to source all the air, to find all the air, that's crazy. Yeah. Um, so this, when where was the hair from? I think it was Ukraine, China, and Russia. Right. Okay. Yeah. Because I had to do a mix because it was too too much, too, too much, much too to quickly. get, too much too, too much too quickly. Yeah. Sometimes you do things from one day to the other. Like yeah. when I was working with Gaga, I remember when I did the I think it was for BBC Live something like a festival. I had to do a pregnant outfit out of latex yeah. for her, and it was from the same day for the morning to night. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna do that, you know? Yeah. So I did it and it looks cool, but sometimes, and then they receive it, yeah. and then they just cut into it, you know, and stuff like this. So like, sometimes it'd be nice to have at least one or two more days. <laughs> yeah, no, sure. I mean, I, I empathize, empathize with you because mm. of course I get the same thing. Yeah, of course. Know, especially yeah. working with, with certain artists, mm. you know, who just, um, the whole idea of planning almost goes against the way they work. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. the, the spontaneity, the immediacy, the pressure, mm -hmm. the energy in that pressure is actually what makes them sort of yeah. function, what they get their pleasure from. Um, and yeah, it, it, it teaches, because just like you, sometimes I sort of think, oh, yeah, you know, I just wish I had the time mm -hmm. to research, mm -hmm. you know, to try things out, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you know, but of course, being asked to do something immediately, mm -hmm. you haven't got that time, so you just have to do it, yeah. which in a way isn't bad. It's, it's quite exciting yeah. too, and I work really well with pressure. Like yeah. I know, like if I, 
if I get a project like a month in advance, not something that big, but like something easy to make a wig, yeah. I know I will keep it to last minute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, That's yeah. always the way, the current yeah. deadline is tomorrow. Okay, yeah. now I focus on it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, however much you try earlier on. <laughs> um, yeah, but, um, but tell me more about that, because somebody said to me that she wanted you to do this long, this long hair because she'd shaved her head and was yeah. getting some so negative I, the attention. The only thing actually I didn't do was yeah. her wig. I didn't right. do her wig. Yeah. Um, she has her own hairstylist and they're great, like amazing. But yeah. I was just really also wanted to touch the body. The biggest challenge was when I sent a picture to Brett yeah. of the costume. Yeah. It was like, we need to change all the colors. Oh Lord. And I was like, that was, I don't know. So, cause it was too gray, it was too silver. Bear in mind that he wanted <laughs> something that was exactly like what I did before. So, but then we just, um, yeah, just have a good team and then we just do giant bathtubs of bleach, bleach everything and then yeah. send it over, yeah. Are you thinking you work with Doja Cat again? Is that on the cards? Yes, I just work with her for the European tour. I okay. think she's finishing now. Um, and we did uh, all stage, yeah. everything made of air. Really? Yeah. Is that out? People seen that already? Yeah, yeah, it's out, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I just finished that. And hopefully I work with her again, yeah. I love working with her. She's... She's good energy? Yes, and really strong-minded. She knows what she wants. Like, right, okay. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, yeah. yeah.